Hello, welcome to the Voice of Callings YouTube channel, and today I'll be going over Yusuke's 2018 January Silver Contest lifeguards. Problem goes over Farmer John, and he has cows, and he has N cows as lifeguards. And so he these lifeguards are gonna cover a shift from time t equals zero to time t equals one billion. And these lifeguards have a shift. So a shift that could start at 4 and then end at 7. And that's the amount of time that that lifeguard was spent on duty. However, the problem is that Farmer John hired one more lifeguard than he could actually, um, actually pay for. So he has to fire one lifeguard. And the question is which lifeguard he should fire to have the maximum amount of time that lifeguards will be on duty. So given this input right here, this top one is N, number of lifeguards, and these three are the intervals. So lifeguard 1 starts at time 5 and ends at time 9. Lifeguard 2 starts at time 1 and ends at time 4. Then lifeguard 3 and starts at 3 and ends at time 7. Okay, so to kind of visualize this, I'm going to pull this up. Right, so imagine it's like a number line of this time. So time one all the way up to time nine because that's the maximum amount of time we have for this input. So cal one is gonna start at time one or time five, sorry. Time five all the way up to time nine. And it won't actually be on time nine because its shift its shift ends at time nine. So all the way up to eight. So time or cal two starts at one, ends at three. And then cal 3 starts at 3, ends at 6. So if we just look over this, we could see that some parts are already overlapping. Cal 2 and 3 are overlapping here. Cal 1 and 3 are overlapping here. So, right. so to put this into our code, I'm just going to... The, the three categories for the variables that we kind of need is a time, so at what time period it'll be at, its cow identity, so which cow it is, cow one, cow two, or cow three, and then its status. And status is whether it's starting its shift or it's ending its shift. So for me, I said one should be a start, and then negative one is end, so it's ending a shift. So cow one starts at shift at five, so it's one ends at 9, so negative 1. Alright, so how I implemented this into my code. Um, here we go. Alright, so this is my code here, and right here I have all my instance variables, and I can see at the end, there's event, the event array. So I made a class called events, which takes in time, ID, and status. And that's the three that we need. So that's the class that I made. Now to initialize these, I went and initialized it to hold two times n because we need to account for the times that it'll start and then end. And then I put them into the events array right here. So integer the parse in SC the next token that'll take in the next part in our in our input, which will, or if you look at our input, it should it should take in five, and then next one, next s and then it hooks in should take in nine, and then i that's just its identity, and then one negative one represents the status. All right, to make sure that I implement to so I got the inputs correctly. Um, I did a made a print array method, and right here, print array just a for each loop going through each eval, and there's a get value here that'll print out time ID and status. So if I run that here, right here, it'll get one 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 three two one, and so on. And if we look back at our visual, right here, and you'll notice that it's the exact same except this one is ordered by time. 
And we need to order it by time because it won't work if it's not ordered by time. So yeah, right here, one, two, one. All right. All right. So the only thing that's actually different is this is cow one, cow two, cow three. But I did cow zero, cow one, cow three, cow two. So this should be one, 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 one. So on. okay. So to go from there, we have. So this is the solve method here I made. So we start out with tree, the tree set active cows. All right, so active cows. So that's just gonna hold the cows that are on duty. So the cows that are active. And then total time, that's just a variable to hold total amount of time that all the cows, so including the one that's gonna be fired. Alone is a array that holds the amount of time that a cow spends alone. So if we're looking at this chart right here, cow one or cow zero should spend two times time, um, a time period of two alone. Cow two should spend a period of two alone, and then cow three spends only one time alone. All right, so that should be what alone should um, return or return, yeah. And the previous, that's just the previous time, and then current current is the current time. So this is just a for each loop to go through, loop through all the events in the events array. So current, it'll get the current time. And it's going to check if the active cows is not empty. So if it's not empty, that means there's a cow there. So we need to input that time right into a total time. So that's what we did here. We add it to total time because it's not empty. And if active cows is, or its size is one, so that means um, there's a cow there, but it's alone. There's, that's, that's the only cow there. So that means we have to add it to the alone array and, this, and the time is spent. And after that, we have to check its status and we have to add it to active cows. So if, active, if the status is one, which means it's starting its shift, you have to add it to active cows because the left goes on duty. And if it's not, so the status equals negative one, whatever. It's gonna you have to remove it because it's not on duty anymore. And at the end, we have to set previous to current so that you can just move on. Alright, so I'm gonna print these out just so I can check. And okay, so we see active cows right here, and it's empty. And why it's empty is because we're adding the cows and then we're removing them after their shift ends. So it only makes sense that it's empty. And this is alone. So alone, cow one spends two times alone. And that's what we got here, two times. Cow two spends two times alone. Cow three spends one time alone. So to calculate the maximum amount of time that if one cow is fired, you get the maximum amount of time that life goes on duty. You have to get the minimum value in the alone array and then subtract that from total time. And that's what we did here. So min alone, that's gonna get the value of the minimum value in alone array. And I'll set that to a really big number. And then I'm gonna loop through alone to find that minimum value. And then after that, I'll print out uh, min alone minus total time. And that should be our answer. Uh, oops. All right, so now chart out seven, and if we look at our chart here, and seeing that three is the one that overlaps the most, if we get rid of three, and three only spends one time alone, if we just get rid of three right here, we'll get two will spend three times alone, and then one will spend four times alone. That equals seven. So that's the answer. And that's how you solve the problem. All right, thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to leave a comment if you guys have any questions. Thank you.